The forward program starts with the idea of creating an uh, intentional culture. All organisations have a culture and most of those cultures are loosely fitted around what the organisation is trying to achieve. But in order for us to improve our performance as a trust, we need to align everyone in the organisation to a common understanding of the culture we're trying to achieve and its impact on the performance of the trust. That means we need to agree a certain set of behaviours, which we call signature behaviours, and actually work our way towards uh, demonstrating those behaviours positively across the entire trust. As we've said before, all organisations have a culture, and that culture is often ad hoc in the way it comes together. The culture is often defined, probably most accurately, by the types of conversations we have at the tea room or around the water cooler. This is what we would call a water cooler culture. This ad hoc approach to culture is often associated with a loose understanding of what the organisation is trying to achieve and how people will behave to deliver that outcome. We would like to use the forward program to create an intentional culture that moves us from this idea of an ad hoc culture into a deliberate space around how we behave and what performance will look like on the back of those behaviours. In an ad hoc culture, the sense of personal entitlement is what drives people's behaviours rather than what the organisation is looking to achieve as a group or a collective. We are less likely to achieve shared and common goals if we are actually looking after our own interests. So an intentional culture is around aligning people's behaviour to the, a shared and common set of goals, which we call collective achievement. Collective achievement allows us to deliver purposefully the goals of the organisation. When we deliver goals purposely for the organisation, there is a greater sense of achievement. Not only are we looking to uh, deliver those goals through collective achievement, but we are looking to connect people in the organisation together as teams so that they can all share in the success and the celebration of those uh, goals, of achieving those goals. By purposefully achieving goals and connecting to teams in the process of achieving those goals, we create a greater sense of self-worth both in the individual and in the organisation, and this has the effect of lifting organisational performance across the trust. The intent of the forward program is to align all staff across the trust so they can actually achieve greater connectivity and deliver collective achievement of the trust's goals. This is the WHAT program and it belongs to all staff in the trust. Culture reflects the way we do things around here, which means that all of our behaviours contribute to the, the, the trust culture. By creating an intentional culture, we will establish four signature behaviours around which all of the trust will actually focus their activity. And these behaviours are going to underpin the way we do things within what. These behaviours will be common to all staff, from boardroom to staff room. And the key requirement of the program is simply that we positively demonstrate these behaviours in the workplace. So our four what signature behaviours are, do what we say we will do. What would our organisation look like if everyone was to do what they say they would do? Is this something we could aspire to? Listen, learn and lead. What would this be like if we could actually listen intently to our pa patients, to our staff and to our partners, and then take those ideas to actually build a more effective uh, trust? What would that look like? No delay every day. What would this look like if we were able to provide our patients with the services that they require when they require regularly, or routinely? What would this look like in terms of being able to provide support to each other uh, across teams and across divisions in order to deliver what we need to deliver for our patients? What would it feel like if we were able to celebrate and share the success of different teams across the organisation as our own, as a trust? These are our what signature behaviours. When we talk about the culture and the behaviours present in the culture, you'll often hear the term of entitlement versus collective achievement. Personalisation are the behaviours that are associated with entitlement. Personalisation behaviours are demonstrated by the following. People who will judge others and gossip or speak about them in a negative way. People who compare themselves to others and then focus on what they think they're getting or not getting. People who use blame to shift their accountabilities onto others. And these people usually go home feeling angry and frustrated and depressed and anxious in the, about what's happening in the workplace. The intent of the forward program is for us to actually look at these personalisation behaviours and flip them to something more positive, which we call 
wiser behaviours. When you are behaving more wisely in the organisation, you have the ability to accept others as you see them. Wisdom behaviours can be seen when people accept others for who they are. People are actually willing to work in teams and they have the ability to acknowledge others and their successes. These people are often much more satisfied with their workplace and go home feeling less frustrated with a greater sense of self-worth. Having made a decision to create an intentional culture, we work with the senior leadership within the organisation. The advantages of working with the senior leadership team using the wisdom in the workplace framework is that we create greater alignment amongst the, amongst the members of those teams so that they can make decisions that are in the best interest of the business. A net leadership score enables the senior leadership team to develop their behaviours that support the trust and its performance. The next element of the forward program is about creating movement across the organisation. And for this, we actually use advocates. An advocate is a person who will assist the organisation by motivating people to positively demonstrate the signature behaviours. People who are advocates actually have a significant role in building alignment across the organisation and are associated with building trust and candour in the conversations around the signature behaviours. Advocates comprise the people strategy associated with the forward program. The next element in the forward program is around creating a sense of collective achievement. For this, we will use key performance measures to track our, our successes against the positive demonstration of our behaviours. Key performance measures allow staff to see the outcome of their behaviours as it impacts the trust. The ability to see the outcome of your performance across the trust builds greater collective achievement or greater sense of collective achievement which contributes to a greater sense of self-worth across the organisation. Advocates are instrumental in having process flow conversations with staff across the trust. Some of you may have already been aware of the process flow conversations around consumables, while others may be participating in or aware of theatre utilisation, uh, four hour ED weights. All of these process flow conversations build a greater understanding of achievement across the trust. The final element in the forward program is about individual and person accountability. It's about delivering performance against the, the requirements of the trust. In terms of accountability, have you ever had a 12 month gym membership? How many times have you actually participated in that gym membership before you left it in the drawer uh, to sit for the rest of the year? I know that I have. At the end of the day, we have to be personal accountable if we're going to achieve the outcomes with the resources that we actually have. So Pulse basically checks our accountability against the signature behaviours by doing a pulse check every four months. In order for us to deliver on our accountability, the Ford program requires us to check three times a year where we are at. This process is a process of continuous reinforcement and it encourages us to see things through to the end rather than leaving our gym membership or our forward membership in the drawer. A checkpoint measures the positive demonstration of the signature behaviours within a group or cluster across the organisation. Reporting is then delivered at the organisational level, at the cluster level and at the individual level with the individual report being confidential to the, to the staff member involved. So the overall reporting for a forward program involves a net culture score, a participation rate, trust-wide dashboard and individual confidential reporting. So the key thing we have to keep in mind is how we can positively demonstrate the forward signature behaviours across the trust to improve our performance. So I hope this presentation has given you a better understanding of the forward program. So let's hear from some of the advocates in the program about what their favourite signature behaviour is and how it has impacted their workplace. For me, it's all about work together, celebrate together. Two reasons that you spend a third of your day with your colleagues. So it's very important that you get on with each other. And when you develop a good working relationship, it is so much easier to get through your working day and to get everything done that you need to. It's a very important part of the Forward Programme. We listen, we learn and we lead. And by listening to everybody, you're showing that your interest, everybody's importance. By listening, we learn and we learn that everybody can contribute towards improvements. And we lead by enabling all the ideas from our teams to be put into practice positively and to change our culture. 